filming YouTube. It's Trevor here, Summit or Nothing, back once again, I'm pleased to say, on the southwest coast path. I can't remember the last time I looked at the sea. Seems like a long time ago. Part of my training for Dartmoor, north to south, in a day. I'm stepping up my walk in and I've plotted a 20 mile circular route taking in the rugged coastline of East Prawl in South Devon. Started at Tor Cross, I'll be cutting, going in and around and then weaving in across the country lanes on the way back. We started off at Tor Cross in the car park. You see this Sherman tank that was pulled out of the sea from when they done training for D-Day and they was hit by German subs, U-boats, I think over 700 US troops perished. So uh, yeah, Slapton Sands is a patch of beach marred by the tragedy of that. Looking pretty wet up ahead. That wasn't forecast. <laughs> Curses! This is Bee Sand. Quaint little village. Well, that wasn't just a little bit of rain. That was a downpour. And uh, I'm soaked. Nothing, nothing mentioned about rain. Printed out a map for the, the roads in case my view ranger fails or my battery runs out so I can find my way across the roads because it's a bit of a maze. Well, that's just soaked, it's ruined. Soaked through my pocket. I didn't bring a, a rain cover for my bag because it's meant to be dry. I did have a raincoat. Hall Sands, the village that was lost to the sea, 1917. Now, I think I remember seeing that on the coast. I think it was a, a village on the side of the cliff that just slid in. I might be wrong. So, quite a lot of tragedy along this coast. I know that later on when we get down to Prowl Point, a lot of shipwrecks along here, they say. And some speculation that wreckers were involved. And they used to call the boats in and then uh, trick them into the rocks, let them crash and go and plunder all the goods. Wherever that's coming, can't see a thing now. But look at this, the sea's gone. <sighs> Can hear the alarm or the horn or siren going off. I assume it's a lighthouse. Heading out to Start Point now, an amazing vantage point where you can take in the views. Hmm. This little stretch here puts me in mind of uh, Valley of the Rocks, North Devon. There we go, Start Point Lighthouse. It's beautiful. Can't get any further, but... So walk back now. Big 
it is a bit more like the North Devon coast. This bit here reminds me of uh, Mort Point, which was up by Woolacan. Really interesting sort of rocks. It's really great to be back on the coast. And by all accounts, this looks like it could be a good section. No, I love it. The uh, jagged rocks, the violent shores and imposing cliffs. That's what I'm in it for. Oh, wow. That looks absolutely beautiful. The sea looks blue. Green hills there. Really sort of mountainous looking hills as well. And being capped off by the weather. That is a picture, isn't it? Amazing. Another thing I've missed since I've been away from the coast is all the variety of coastal birds. So a bit of climbing up. I'm always right down on the coastline, aren't we? But, uh, so far, touch wood, it's not been too bad a walk. For the majority, it's been relatively level. Quite a lot of gates, though, in this day and age. Ooh. I've used nearly a whole tub of hand sanitizer. interesting section not much of a path it's a bit of not scrambling but rocky you wouldn't bring a wheelchair up here put it that way you can see why the ships can crash along here you think there's this shallow rock going all the way out in easy pickings once a ship wrecks on that everyone can pretty much walk out there gather the bits up they say that if you pulled the plug out of the sea you could walk along from here to, I can't remember where they said. It's amazing, isn't it? You know, you wouldn't even think they had a plug in the sea, would you? Dad jokes. Oh. It's like a little mini dirtle door over there, isn't it? Have you seen? Witchcraft. Well, we're at Pool Point now. It's absolutely stunning down here, look at that. Pool Point lookout station. Let's go and take in some booze. Oh, where we've been. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Really interesting stone along here. The erosion. Look at this, all the lines. See how close they are. Real fine. Got a bit precarious stood under this. Let's move. <laughs> So we've been walking for four and a half hours. We're halfway there. 
Ooh, living on a prayer. This. Money can't buy it. Money cannot buy it. Gammon head. That's what they used to call me in school. Oh wow. It's beautiful. That looks really interesting. Up over there. I think that's our next section. Warming up now. Had a little bit of a stop. Had a bite. Have I got another 10 miles in me? I hope so. <laughs> Feeling it a bit in my legs, trying to get them moving again after stopping, but I'm sure once I limber up, it'll be fine. No pain, no gain. This stretch of coast, it's up there with my favourites. It reminds me a bit of everything. Back there is a bit like Portland. This bit here reminds me of coming into Torquay. It's reminded me of the Valley of the Rocks at Lynmouth and Mort Point. There's a bit of everything here. The sun's shining now. The tea is turquoise. It's these white rocks. One day I'll compile the best of my coast path. We look back at everything because it is it's gorgeous they might not be my most popular videos but personally they're my favorite be heading in now we're coming up this is portal mouth and across the way there is Salcombe over there I love boats one day one day I'll have a boat or a yacht like them out there sunning themselves on the yacht So we've hit the road, Jack. We'll be leaving the southwest coast path in a minute. There's a ferry to catch across over to Salcombe. That's why, where we divert from the path. And then it's all inland. So I've hit 15 miles. Um, I'm still alright. I'm coping at 15 miles. Ask me again at 20. But it's still quite a daunting prospect. Dark more in a day, especially after last week. <laughs> when I do my dark more walk, I won't be setting the camera up. <laughs> Going back for it, I'll just be walking. Anyway, five miles on the road. Sorry, did I say this was five miles on the road? It's seven, actually. And I've just checked about a mile on from where I said it was five, so it's probably about eight. Four and a half miles left. This is so dull. I've done 19 miles already, or so my view ranger tells me. I think I've upped it and upped it. I don't want to keep doing this. <laughs> That's why I'm really not going to enjoy the hike across Dartmoor. I know this is roads and it's different, but this is dull. Hedgerows. 
just hedgerows. Last three miles. Thank goodness. It's been a long old walk. This is it. Final junction. I'm going up here. And this will lead us to Tor Cross. So here we go, back to the Sherman. So that was 23 and a half miles in the end. I was wondering, can I do Dartmoor in two days again, please? Find uh, Just Giving page below for hospice care. Give us a donation for this walk. Not this one, for the Dartmoor in a day. Thanks for watching. Get down and sponsor me. Cheers.